Uh, take 29. I, for some reason, I can't record, uh, was it, uh, landscape. It won't let me. For some reason, it'll be upside down. Uh, 2.56 p.m. August 31st, 2024. OMG, I thought I was going to die. Uh, so, the last couple days, I've been doing way better. I think I've figured something out. It's not the food at all. And it's not the amount of food. It's not the type of food. I think it's something internal. So the last few days, I, well, I've noticed if, you know, when I stand up, you know, I start bloating and, you know, have some pain. If I bend over, pain and bloating. If I'm sitting and I lean forward, that's the worst. It gets really painful. So the last few days, last couple of days, I've been sitting and leaning backwards and it's been way better. And I've been, uh, when I'm eating now, I don't have any problems because I, I'm standing up and I'm eating or I'm sitting back and I'm eating. I noticed, I think all the problems I was having after I ate before was only because I was sitting forward, you know, leaning forward to eat. So, today, yesterday, my ex wanted me to take my son to work, and I was like, oh, I don't want to tempt the driving, you know. The driving is bad, too. So, I felt good enough. I thought I could do it today, and boy, was I wrong. Uh, I even leaned the seat back. It didn't help. You know, I don't know. There's something with being in a certain position that totally makes pain and bloating happen. Um, wow. So, on the way, halfway to picking up my son, I started having problems. I got there, and I was in a lot of pain. I had to stand up, and I told him, I need a few minutes to try to relax this area, okay? So then we tried to, when I started taking him to work, started happening again. And it felt like I was going to pass out. I didn't want to scare my son, but I was like in so much pain. It was like, oh my goodness. So the one day when I had the very worst pain, it was like a half a notch below that. It was really bad, really super bad. So I can't drive either. And you know, the seatbelt put pressure right in that area. All right, I'm going to describe to everybody where this is because apparently it's not near my stomach. All right, so All right, so I'm going to explain what this is because every I guess the doctor's got it mixed up and I didn't know I don't know my anatomy that well. I thought my stomach was more down farther, but it's not so here's, I'm gonna to try to explain where this area is. All right, so take where your waistline is, right? Where your waistline, say, take from your hip. And that's where the waistline is. Go over, and if you go into the middle, and then right below is your groin area, go over to the right. So it's in between that, down, just above the groin area. It's like right where your leg is. So it's like half in the thigh, in the crack there, and a little bit over to the left of that. It's not in the you know what area, but just a little bit above that. And when I have that pain and I start bloating, it goes up into the abdomen. Ab abdomen. Uh, and then that gets really painful and bloats there too. And then I bloat everywhere. So I think this is some kind of an internal problem. Maybe it's part of the hernia thing. Um, the hernia to me feels like 
it's above the belly button to the right. But the original pain and where everything I think is coming from is way below that. <sighs> so I didn't get the areas right of where everything was. So when I was saying I was having stomach pain, it wasn't stomach pain. And when I say I was having abdomen pain, it wasn't abdomen pain. But, you know, it goes up into there. And then I get pain there, too. So, I think this has nothing to do with the liver. I mean, yes, there's maybe part of it is that. The liver, uh, the fatty liver thing, yeah, that might be something. Maybe they discovered that and it was, you know, in their, in their tests, it's perfectly normal. It was at a 32, the, a, the ALT numbers, the ALT numbers. So um, that number is supposed to be uh, 50 or below according to their, their records. Max sent me a, a video and this doctor said it should never go above 25. So your fat, your liver is starting to get, starting to get bad, I guess, after it hits 25. He says it shouldn't even go, you know, this doctor says it shouldn't go, you know, above 25, but he also says you want it as low as possible, closest to zero as possible. So, uh, when I first got tested, it was 32. Two weeks later, you know, I was doing the diet, drinking lots of water, doing everything to, to get better, and it went down to a 28. So, sure, the liver thing might be a, somewhat of a problem, but... It's not the major problem that's happening now. At least that's what I don't think. I think whatever position is causing the pain, it causes it to blow, it causes it to inflame, I guess. So I'm asking you guys, have you ever heard of some kind of an internal injury way down right in the groin area, right where the your leg crack starts? So it's in the very upper thigh and then that little pouch area where the groin is, but to the right of where your junk is. For males, that is. So right now I'm laying down. That's why I'm doing this video. I had it this way, but it won't do it. So I have to do it in this uh, was landscape mode. It's... I don't know, I tried like 10 times and it would just be sideways. It wouldn't do it right, but you can't really tell sideways anyway because I was pointing it at the ceiling. But I don't know, Let's, I, don't, I don't really care about the video quality at this point. I'm just trying to see if somebody else out there, especially a male, if they've had anything where they had some kind of an internal injury and then it uh, had pain, and then it, it made bloating happen all the way up to your breast bones. And then bloating all, I mean, big time, severe bloating out your sides too, where it feels like you have no room that you're just going to explode. Right now, I'm not at that exploding, you know, I'm bloated. It's not anywhere near as bad as the other times. But it's bad, and it's bad enough. All right, so sorry about all this, but I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I believe it has nothing or very little to do with my stomach, my eating, my liver, the fatty liver. I think that, you know, maybe have a tiny part, but I don't think that's what is going on. Because now I figured it out. I can eat now and not have any problems as long as I'm not sitting up, leaning forward while I'm eating. I'm still going to stick to the, the good diet right now. Yesterday I had organic chicken and brown rice. And I've actually eaten a couple now, two sandwiches. I mean, not, you know, obviously one one day and one another day. But I've had peanut butter sandwich and I'm fine.
absolutely fine as long as I'm not leaning forward. So I eat standing up now and I don't have problems or if I'm sitting, I have to lean back. I can't sit forward. So all this problems seem to be, and I say most of the problems is if I'm sitting and I lean forward. I have some problems if I try to bend down, especially, you know, also obviously if I lift, that has problems. And if I, when I'm standing up, but that the standing up isn't as bad as all the others. And if the very worst is just sitting and leaning forward. That's the worst of the pains that I have. I noticed, so what I have to do, because usually when I'm on my computer, I have to sit and I have to lean forward. Well, the last couple, the last three days, I put a, a cardboard box over my chair and then stick the computer up on this box and so I can lean back in the chair and do my stuff on the computer. Otherwise, I can't do stuff on the computer for more than like a minute without having pain and then the bloating happens. So, hopefully somebody out there, a man, well it doesn't have to be a man, but I don't know if it's a, a, a man problem with, you know, with organs or something, whatever. But, I mean, females, I'm sure it can happen, this, this, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, so... Uh, if anybody can help with any that they've had some kind of internal injury way down where your leg is, where the crack of your leg is, but a little bit over to the left, that's where it's starting from and radiating up. The pain radi up, radiates up into my abdomen on the right side, and it's like right to the side of my belly button, you know, the abdomen right there. And then the bloating. Uh, I think there's something internal going on that's causing this. All right. Uh, please continue to pray for me. I love you guys. I'll, I, I pray for you guys too. And please, you know, if you guys have any, you know, problems going on in your life, you need prayers, I'm here for you to pray. Just put it in the comments and I'll pray for you. But I don't know. I, I just think it's something internal. I don't think it's liver. I don't think it's stomach. It might be having, you know, I might have some part of it, but I think the major problem is something internal and not my eating and not what I'm eating and how much I'm eating. But I've noticed that it does contribute to it a little bit. But I don't think it's the major part of the problem. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. God bless.